There was always something new for Millie and Molly to find at Farmer Hegarty's place. Huh? Did you hear that? What? Over here. This way. In the forget-me-nots. Look! <laughs> oh, how cute! A baby goat! Hello. Oh. <laughs> what did you do that for? Oh, hey, don't fight me, little man. Oh, don't! Watch it, Millie. <laughs> Stop it, Mr. Mr. Forget-me-not. We found him in the flowers. Oh. More like bump me not. <laughs> Millie and Molly had fun running from Bunt Me Not. Bunt Me Not! Look out! <laughs> and little Bunt Me Not's gentle bunts. But as Bunt Me Not grew up, his bunts were no longer gentle and no longer fun. Bunt Me Not! Look out, Bunt! What? Bunt Me Not! Oh! That goat has no respect for anyone. If it wasn't a purebred, I'd get rid of it tomorrow. <laughs> Bart Minot doesn't care much about anyone else. Can we teach him? We could try. <laughs> Bart Minot, are you going to be good? You have to think about other people's feelings or you won't have any friends. Do you think he understands? Well... He hasn't tried to bunt us. Uh-oh. Hello? Farmer Hegarty? I've come for that manure for my vegetables. Farmer Hegarty! Farmer Hegarty! <laughs> Don't come over here, Aunt Maud. Bunt me, not my bunt you. Huh, no goat dare bunt me. He will! Fiddlesticks! Now, where's Farmer Hegarty? I'm here. Where are you? Farmer Hegarty? Look out! Don't you dare. <laughs> Never! He doesn't respect anyone. Not even you. Double fiddlesticks. <laughs> Well, Farmer Hegarty, I hope this manure helps me win another prize for my vegetables this year. Your goat hasn't done me any favours. He hasn't done me any favours either. Here's the ice you asked for, Farmer Hegarty. Just put it on that plastic chair, please. I'll shut the door. Does it hurt? Only when I breathe. Ah! Oh! Oh! Uh, oh. I like goats anymore. Don't worry, Molly. Not all goats are like that, bunt me not. That very afternoon, Farmer Hegarty introduced Millie and Molly to old Nibbles. <laughs> Go on, Molly. Nibbles is very gentle and polite. You won't get a bunting from her. <laughs> She's nibbling my ear. See? No bunting. Only nibbling. Give her this cube of sugar. Good nibbles. She understands. You treat her nicely, she'll treat you nicely. Mutual respect. Respect. But Bunt Me Not didn't understand. He was just jealous of the attention Nibbles was getting. <laughs> oh no, not again! Don't worry. Nibbles won't take any nonsense from this young fella. See? Bunt me not's learning something from that older goat. A bit of respect. <laughs> Maybe he'll be nice to all of us now. Oh, I'm not taking any chances. Perhaps a spell on your own will teach you some manners. I'm sorry. <laughs> Look out! 
He can't break this gate. Huh? Oh. oh, my! The fence keeps breaking! Uh, ow! Are you all right, Father Higgins? Mm -hmm. Bob and us getting away. Get me a cushion. A cushion? How's a cushion going to catch Bob me not? It's not for that goat. It's for me. We better catch that goat before he bunts someone else on the bottom. And after he bunted me on the bottom, he chewed through this line. My old fairy nearly went floating off on her own. So after he bunted you on the bottom... He chewed a hole in my balloon and then ran off towards town. shivering. She's so scared. But at least he didn't bunt anyone this time. Farmer Hegarty, your goat bunted me on the bottom. <laughs> uh, sorry. Um. Did you see the train bunt me not went, Dad? He was heading for Aunt Maud's. Oh, oh no! Do something, Hegarty, before your goat eats through any chance of me winning an award at tomorrow's agricultural show. Right you are. I'll, uh, I'll try to grab him. Again? If you don't get that goat out of here, I'm going to call the police. Not the police. They won't know how to handle a goat. He's a valuable animal, you know. I don't want him hurt. <gasps> Poor Bumpy Not. Fiddlesticks. That goat is costing you a fortune. All the damage. It's got no respect for anything. Just a minute. Respect? Respect. We've got an idea. We've got to get back to the farm. Well, you better hurry. That animal will be into my prize tomatoes next. Farmer Hegarty drove his truck all the way to his farm and back, as fast as it was safe to. Oh, I hope your plan works, Millie. <laughs> well, back, Aunt Maud. You took your time. That beast has nearly finished off my tomatoes. If he gets into my carrots, I'll have nothing left to win any prizes with. Come on, Nibbles. What? You've not brought another eating machine into my garden. Don't worry, Aunt Maud. Nibbles is here to help. Would you like some sugar, Nibbles? Good girl, Nibbles. You like being stroked, don't you? You've got lovely fur. <laughs> He's going to bunt someone. We're trying something. Bunt me not respects Nibbles. We're hoping he'll do whatever she does. Come on, Nibbles. Let's go and play. What a good goat. Here he comes. It's all right. They're leading Bunt Me Not away from your vegetables. Good boy, Bunt Me Not. Want some sugar? The plan works. I've never seen anything like it. All's well that ends well. But who's going to pay for the rope on my ferry? And my damaged balloon. And Millie's jeans. Well, um, are I... And if my carrots aren't enough to win an award tomorrow, you're going to have to buy me a trophy from the shop. Poor Farmer Hegarty. How was he ever going to make good all the damage that Bunt Me Not had caused? Would you like a ride in our cart, Nibbles? <laughs> Back at the farm, Bunt Me Not was learning that if he acted like Nibbles and showed respect to others, he could join in the fun too. <laughs> Do you think Bunt Me Not wants to ride in our cart too? Maybe. <laughs> Would you like a ride in our cart, Bunt Me Not? <laughs> If you don't bunt us, we'll give you a ride. And some sugar. <laughs> Is he going to bunt us? <gasps> I think he's learned his lesson. Well, I hope so. I figure the only way I'm going to pay for all the damage Bunt Me Not caused is for him to win the prize for the best goat in the show tomorrow. Do you think he can win? Final contestant for Best Goat in Show is Farmer Hegarty and Bug Me Not. Please present your animal to the judge. You two take him. Farmer Hegarty held his breath. It wouldn't do for a goat to bunt the judge. Excuse me, judge. Hmm? Bunt Me Not is just learning that if you show respect, you get respect back. Don't worry, I'll show him plenty of respect. Who's a good boy, Bunt Me Not? <laughs> Now, let's have a look at you properly. Hmm, I see he lives up to his name. He bunted me not. 
<laughs> She's written down the winner, Farmer Hegarty. And the winner of the cash prize for Best Goat in Show goes to... Fuck Me Not, owner Farmer Hegarty. Yay! Congratulations, Farmer Hegarty. So Farmer Hegarty was able to pay for all the damage Bunt Me Not had caused. And Aunt Maud did win a prize for her carrots. Though she couldn't understand why there were less of them when she took them home again. Perhaps Bunt Me Not still had a few more lessons to learn. <laughs>